About 70 miles off the coast of Key West, Florida, surrounding a chain of small islands called the Dry Tortugas, are the fertile waters of the only barrier reef in North America. This is an ecosystem that provides refuge to over 280 species of fish. Its lush seagrass meadows are safe feeding areas for hundreds of endangered sea turtles. Fueled by the nutrient-rich ocean currents of the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico, the waters of the Tortugas are a dense whirlpool of biodiversity, including important spawning grounds for commercial fish species. But not very long ago, the reefs all along the Florida Keys began to suffer as increased boating activities population pressures and overfishing overwhelmed the health of the entire marine ecosystem. That's when scientists began studying fish populations and coral reef habitats. They soon realized that unless something was done quickly, one of the richest and most biologically diverse marine ecosystems in the United States could turn into a barren wasteland. To reverse the trend, in 2001, the Tortugas was declared a 200-square-mile national marine sanctuary. Marine uh, protected areas and networks of marine protected areas are one of the most important uh, tools that we have to protect the basic biological richness of the seas, and secondly, in places where that richness has been depleted to allow opportunities for the biodiversity and the productivity to return. And that's exactly what happened. Coral reefs and fish populations rebounded, and the Tortugas became one of the most successful marine reserves in the world.